When we look at forests or wooden products, we have a great respect for that. We also realize how much forest you need in order to get superior quality out of it. It's an important part of our culture and our surroundings. It's a unique place which we need to take very good care of. The Stool Lab actually started because our small community, we needed more places to work. Back in 1907, obviously, the work was quite labor-intensive. We had a big workforce, we did uh, similar products, but we did everything by hand, more or less. We've increased the number of chairs we make today. We've also invested in the most modern machines you can buy for a solid wood furniture factory. Same setting, same location, but a completely different and more modern way to produce the furniture. I think Stolab has a great team. They appreciate our Scandinavian design, the classic, the timeless, the sustainable choice, and also the knowledge and the certainty that everything is uh, produced here in Sweden in our own factory. I knew that I had to work with wood. Stolab was my first uh, knock knock. <laughs> That was 1998. We are working with uh, living wood. Two wood pieces don't behave the same. It can be hard, it can be soft, uh, and the structure in the wood, the climate, they are different. Assembling is uh, one of the areas we have most handcrafts. The visual design is not so easy to do with a robot. Yeah, we need to have a, a human uh, eyes. We have like the complete value chain of the furniture here in our hands, so we have full control of that, which I think is a key ingredient. Furniture should be recognizable in its heritage, but also with a modern character and attitude. It's a really important part of our life. Sometimes when we show our products to new people, new markets, it can be so addictive. I just, I just love it. The furniture is designed to live forever. And I have one philosophy that I bring to my colleagues. Vad jag gör, det syns. Men vad jag inte gör, det syns också.